Today, we are going to introduce you one of the powerful video controller. It's Nova Pro UHD JR 4K all-in-one controller. Let's start from the front panel. Here is the power on button and this is USB B type port. This device in supports many different input sources. For example, one DP input, one HDMI input, two SDI input, and four DVI inputs. In the center of the device, it has a TFT screen. And this is the knob. It can help you to enter to the main manifest. And this is ESC back key. Here there are four functional buttons. This is for three layer setting. This is for scaling setting. And this is for DVI mosaic setting. And this is a custom function button. Let's take a look at the TFT screen. What we can see here is the current device status and setting. Use the knob to go into the main menu. The screen brightness. Use the knob to adjust the brightness to what you want. Use the back key. Come to the screen setting. You could do quick configuration and advanced configuration on your LED screen. Come to the quick configuration. You could just simply input the numbers of the cabinet on the row and the number of cabinet on the column and the number of the cabinet that one port can control. Finally, select the Cat5 signal, how the Cat5 signal travel. That's it. If your LED screen is in a complicated configuration, you will need to use advanced configuration. It supports more setting as well. Layer setting. It supports custom setting on the three layers. Input settings. You could set up or input the info the resolution information of different inputs. Image mosaic setting. This device supports up to 10% setting, which can be created and saved to the device for different, different events. Display control. Mm. Come to the rear panel. The ports we have here are divided into three sections. The first sections are for the signal input. Here you, we can see that we have four DVI input and one DP input and one HDMI input and the other one of HDMI is working as the loop output and we have uh, two SDI input and another two SDI loop output as well. 
and the second sections are for the controller. Here we can see it's a one Ethernet port and two G-Lock port and one of the RS232 port and two USB ports. And the third section are for the signal output. Here we have 16 new chick gigabyte output and one port for the monitor and four optical connectors.